Hello, I'm Arnell from Mimi's Keepsakes and I am back today with my medieval um, journal and as you can see I have all the signatures here and we're gonna work on them today. I um, watched Kate from Pixie Kate Designs and today and I thought oh I have to do what she did she she um, decorated her pages with embossing and texture paste and all kinds of things to still leave a lot of space for writing but not adding bulk to her journal and I'm thinking I need to do the same or something similar because the pockets and the tags and stuff things that I made the ephemera most of them are fairly bulky so I'm thinking um, I and when we flip through this you'll see each signature has a lot of writing space but I don't want to just leave that blank if I just add something there that wouldn't add bulk I think that would be nice so I'm gonna do that today and um, a couple of other things so I will link um, Kate from Pixie Kay Designs. I'll link her, uh, though, that video in my description box if you want to go watch it. She, I just love her channel. <laughs> she can just layer things and make it look so pretty. I still struggle with layering and, you know, layer and give it texture. It's easy to just glue a couple of pages on top of each other, but then you don't necessarily have texture. So I want to show you some books that I used and got images from. Um, this is a huge book. It's one of those um, kind of coffee table books. It's the Renaissance, um, 1401 to 1610, The Splendor of European Art. And it is gorgeous. So what I want to do, I have taken like these first couple of pages, they have images on both sides, full page. So I want to use some of this as um, some middle pages for the signature. Look at that, that is so many and then finally it stops. And even this, I love that, it's so pretty. So I got a lot of images from here and there is still a lot left. So this is definitely a, if you see this book, art book, it's really a good book, I think, for junk journaling. Like even this could probably be like a half or a small page in a book. Anyway, so I want to do that. The other one, I, I'm just going to put it on top of this one because it's another book, big one. It's this one, the Louvre. And... Um, same thing it it's like a semi gloss but it has full pages that you can cut smaller and with like this image it would be fine to have that as a page in your book because if you fold it in half both have good images you just have to see what's on the back but even with this one I think it will work yeah so I just want to see if I can Maybe I'll take this one out while I'm here. Is it the middle of the signature? Yes. Or maybe I will just do this. <coughs> sure. Oh, okay. I don't need the bottom part. Um, I don't want that person. If I got this, this might work too. So I'm kind of looking for a big image and both sides need a big image. Like this one, it might work. Oh, it's the middle of the signature again. It's just, this book is, <laughs> binding is really good. Uh, I don't want the head on the plate. <laughs> um, no, that won't work. Let's see. I know the first pages from that book. No, that won't work. I think this is later anyway. 
still want to kind of stay. Yeah, these are later images in this, you know, Renaissance, medieval kind of images. When was this one? 1630. The back won't work. Okay, so those I'll use. And these from this book will definitely all work. Maybe not that one, but this one will. And I don't want to tear them. Maybe I should see where the center is of the signature and just open it up first because uh, I don't have my little tool here to lift it out but mm. I might need my then let's do this yeah, that will work. It's just the binding is so deep in there, it's kind of hard to get anything in there. Okay. One more. I am making more than one journal, so all of this won't go into one journal. Okay, there. And both these books are not, it's not like they're too glossy, which is great. So let's see. I need, let's just use one of these pages as a template. Let's see how big this is. It will be a shorter page, which which is just fine. Uh, if I have her here, but the uh, this one probably won't work. Okay, you won't work. Let's get rid of that one. This one might work. I have this one, but if I fold it in half, I can do this one as a tip out. I think. So let's do that. Um. We're going to cut it up there and here. Okay, we'll cut them all at the same time. This one is the same problem. I didn't think about folding, but I can use her as a tip out as well. A flip out. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, that will work in this one. Oh, this is so beautiful. But same thing if I will figure something out. Okay. And I'm going to separate these two pages. Okay. And then these I need to separate as well. Mm. This might be an interesting one. I think if I fold it like that. 1528 and 1527 I think that is still workable <laughs> and we'll play um, it will be a loose interpretation of the Renaissance not necessarily historically correct which is fine it's a junk journal so I'm not too concerned about that This one. Oh. Okay. Don't need 
that page. I cut any heads off. No, it's good. This one on this side, which should be fine. On this side, oh, separate the pages. Satisfying this one. And maybe we come down a little bit. Let's see. So I coming down. I'm sorry. Three quarters of an inch, I would say. Okay, no, I can't come down. I have to do it from the top, and it will still work. Okay, and then. This one might be exactly C. This one, if I fold it in half, it's fine. Year two. Didn't really check this, huh? Because it's so. This will work. Might lose one person's face. And this one, I might have to do fold like that. Because I don't want to cut off his face. It'll work. This one, I'm not. Oh, it will still work. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't see my pencil. Let's just see from this side if I do this. And if I come down, maybe an inch. Let's see on this side. If I come down an inch, then I cut off. Okay. Maybe I'll cut off that off. Then I lose the lock. Okay. Let's not make it complicated. It's already complicated enough. This one won't work. Okay. I have enough anyway, I think. Um, I just want to put my page back before I forget where I had it. Okay. Cut these pages smaller. I'm not sure they'll fit in here, actually. Oh, they will. Good. Because I cannot cut straight for the life of me. And even sometimes when I do use the cutter, it's still not straight. But yeah, this journal is coming along nicely. I'm very happy that it's that I can move along with this because you know I am enjoying it but it's always nice to do something else something new just putting that in the recycling bin okay this one I said we can't come down with this one. Okay, there. Pencil mark. And this one, I'm just going to do this. And I might or might not use it, I don't know. We'll see. And maybe I'll leave this white piece up here and um, maybe add some lace or something. But if I cut it and I want to add lace, then I'm cutting into their heads. So. Let's leave that white piece. Okay, so let's decide in which signature we want these. That one's folded. Oh, I forgot to cut this one on the side. Yeah, 
I have been in between working on this journal. I am still trying to get ready for our trip. Oh, I've got to do this one too. And I also have some paperwork to finish before I leave because otherwise it will be too late. It's early now, but it might be too it will be too late when we come back. So I have to finish that before we leave. And I did all of these. Yes. So it's yeah, I don't think the days have enough hours in it. Starting to feel a little panicky. It's already October. I don't know where September went. It just flew by. So I need to move on because I'm also trying to sort and organize my room here because it's starting to overflow and I need to organize and pack some things for my shop but I'm thinking I might have to leave that until I get back because time is running out and then have a big stock for my shop when I come back so let's see which ones need something interesting in the middle and of course I can add pockets and stuff too. This one has extra pages because I wanted to have these, the front, the front here. I'll have to glue that down again. Um, so I th don't think I'm going to put it in the first signature. This is the second signature. See, and it needs something in the middle here. So let's add... They all look very grumpy. It has to go in one of the signatures. <laughs> Let's do this one. Okay, and now it needs to be cut shorter. Oh, I'm going to lose that guy's face. Five. These pages were five and a half. But because it's my middle the page in the middle of the signature, I'll make it a little smaller than, oh, it's five and a quarter, so five. I'm going to cut through your nose, I'm sorry. It will be fine. Okay. So where did we say this one will go in here? Um, in the third signature I might do something different again. Oh, and there is something in that middle signature. Um, maybe again something different. How many do I have yet? Okay, we'll add one more to this book. The rest will go into the other books. Um, so maybe let's see what's in signatures. I have nine signatures. Let's see our signature seven. Mm. Yes, let's add it in here. Then I also have Oh, did I cut that one smaller? Let me do it now while I still remember. Because I'm thinking of five things at a time and then slip through the cracks. Okay. Then I also have, I wanted to add some flowers and I've already done some flowers in this book um, from this rock garden plants book. I found it um, at the thrift store and I totally loved it and it's just so nice. I'm looking for pages that has some of the colors that I want. And like I said, I already put some in this book, I think. I'll just make sure. I think this one got some flowers. It's the other book that needed flowers. And why are you... 
needs to go this way. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm thinking one of them already has flowers. And then it might be this one. Yes. Okay. This one already has pages from this book. And then I also, these I'm going to use, maybe cut out some mushrooms or just for journaling cards. And this one, same thing, I'll be using these for journaling cards because they're not, they're glued in, they're not sewn in. And this one is sewn in. It's a gu field guide to field the, a guide to field identification trees in North America. I wish this was in the book, but it's not. So I need to find maybe let's do this one. It's the center of the signature here. Yes. Oh, there's a fly buzzing around by the window. It's making a noise and it's annoying. I have, I just need something to lift it up. But I have a little tool for that, but I left it on the table where I'm doing the other books. Because oh, everything can't fit on this table. Okay, let's, oh, okay, wait, maybe this. This can be my new tool. My little palette knife. So maybe this one. This one would be nice too. And I might might think about coffee dyeing these quickly before I sew them in. Or just at least this one. Is Oh, glued on. Okay, you'll be part of a a journaling card or something. Nuts. Okay, where's the center of this signature? Hmm. So deep, oh, in there, wow. I did not see that at all, but maybe we'll use the palette knife again. It worked great. It even cuts the strings. I don't want it. Damage the page, because that just means I have to, but I might have to. I have to um, fix it again. All right, I'll struggle with that off camera and see if I want more. Um, let's add these to the journal. That one we'll use for other things. So this one has, oh, signature one has a lot of pages already. I think nine still needed a page or two. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shall we add? Not too crazy about that, but I can add pockets and stuff on that one. Add maybe this in here. And then add pockets or something or a flip out there. And let's see, see that's one of those rock garden pages, so it has enough. This one has enough too. Let's see if this one needs nope. Just don't want too many bad ones, okay too. This one I think is okay too. Oh, 
losing my little stickies. Oh, I might have to make a new one. Um, okay. These might be okay. I'll just add the one tree page and these can go in the other journals. Okay, so the next thing I s really liked what, sh what um, Kate did was she embossed her pages and I thought, how did she do it? Did she have a, like an oversized, Im you know, um, die cutting machine? And so I started playing around. I don't know. Oops, sorry. Maybe all of you figured this out or know this, but I obviously have not played around enough with my die cutting machine. So I'm thinking I want to die cut some of the pages now before I sew them in, obviously, because once they're sewn in, I won't be able to. And maybe I'll do this one. And shall we do some, some of this on here? Maybe this way. Can it go in this way? Yes. But I want to just have that top part maybe before chapter. Or do I want to emboss chapter? Let's do chapter one as well. Then we'll go in there. I'm going to add one of these, make a sandwich, and it is like I can't add two of these, it's not going to go through. So I'm adding some of this um, craft foam, you can add paper too, I, I just bought, <laughs> found this at the craft at the thrift store. And so I do want to find ways to use it. I've used it in my flower press already and it works really well in a flower press. And I don't want to go um, for in between, you know, you have the, f the flower and then usually you have cardstock or something, but this works really well in between as well. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So there it is. I love it. It's so pretty. The next thing I want to try is, or to add to the pages, is some napkin, decoupage napkin. And I have these three, this little birdie, it has the right colors, and some fall leaves. So let's see, like even if I add, a, you know, a pocket or something on here, I still feel that the you know something on here would be nice and maybe I'll do let's do this one and what I'm going to do to remember what is what I'm going to say signature eight one two three four five and it's page five so I'm just going to say eight and five and then hopefully, because I'll have to take this out so it can dry, and hopefully I will keep my, don't have to reorganize everything again. So let's, I've, you've seen decoupage before, but let's see. And I'm thinking I want to do this entire page with the leaves, but do I want it maybe like that? Okay. I am going to get a water brush. I do have one here, I'm pretty sure. I hope it's, yeah, it is, has water in it. And I'm just taking a lot of the white. I want to take that out. Probably don't need the whole thing, but let's see. Just the water just makes it easier to tear, but it also makes it easier for your napkin image to tear as well, I find, especially like this one. I've put a lot of water on here, but I think it will be okay. 
wanted to take that bit of white out as well. Okay. That's my page, and I want it like this because I want that corner to maybe be filled. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> the napkin is wet and sticking to my finger. Yeah, I want it over there. Okay. I'm just going to do matte medium. This is not the matte medium. That's opaque crackle. There's the matte medium and it's from Ranger. <laughs> I'm saying that just does it looks too white. So, I'm just using this mask applicator again. You've seen me done that before if you've watched videos. I just like this because it's better than a brush. I find the brush sometimes tear the napkin. And this way I'm not even putting anything underneath, you know, I'm not adding and the texture paste and then the napkin. I'm just adding it on top and it just goes through and sticks to the page. The other thing is this is it doesn't damage, you know, you're not throwing away a bunch of um, brushes because I do find that the especially you know you 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 do, I don't always get up and clean it immediately because I don't have water up here and then my brush I'm I throw the brush away in the end because it got hard and the bristles is terrible terrible shape after especially I find um what is it mod podge it's really hard on the brushes gesso as well <laughs> I use this for gesso as well so I'm just gonna leave this to dry and I'm just for now just tearing it off at the end so it hopefully my page won't stick and I'll cut it off neater when it's dry and I'm just gonna open it up to make sure that my pages don't stick together so let's do that one um, let's see, so I do have a lot of like just dyed papers in the signatures but I want a lot of writing I think I've said that before, writing space so I am going to oh, how does this birdie No maybe that's too busy but like something like this if I do add the bird for instance on this side and I might just do it here um, if I do that then maybe I can still add a pocket on the bottom so I'm going to do this one and it is signature 9 and page 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, it's page 8. Okay, now I just need to find my sticky note. Oh, I'll just use this one. Where did I put that one? 9 and 8. And I'm going to put it in here because I want to put the birdie on this side. Okay. And I'm kind of feeling I want to do some of that as well. I'm going to take a lot of this. Okay. Maybe do I want to? Well, let me just see. The bird is kind of looking that way. No matter what I do, it's going to look that way. Do I want it on the blue? And kind of come over to this side. Maybe I'll do it on the blue, come over on this side and in that corner 
add one of these little birdies. It, it's looking that way. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it feels wrong. I have the lid in my mouth. Okay, oh, tearing it. Okay, so then maybe if this one sits like this on this side. Feel that looks better. Okay. And this one would then be nine and nine. Because I am going to forget. I know I won't remember. Put it on there. Okay, so let's do this one first. to get maybe take this off yeah okay let's continue <laughs> I don't know today is kind of I don't know it's a struggle <laughs> so many things have gone wrong and it's stop pause stop pause that kind of frustrates me some days it's easy if you can simply record and there's no hiccups and there's minimum editing. <laughs> Bring it up so you can see. Mm, let's just tear that off. Okay, it's coming off. <laughs> anyway, it's just been one of those days. One of those days. Okay. Too much matte medium on here. Let me get rid of some of it. I'm just scraping it off. The, that's the other thing. I like this one with this end and not the round tip for um, decoupaging because it's just easy to get rid of excess. Okay, so the birdies will dry and we'll do this one on this side. Let's open it up so it's not sticking together and maybe something like this but then I want to get rid of this oops kind of um, straight line because you can see it when you have the matte medium in there so let's do this and maybe I'll get the matte medium from here so my lid doesn't stick when I close this okay And again, Kate, I think this is, if you're watching, this is such a easy thing. I do this all the time on tags and journaling cards, but I've never thought to do it directly on my page. I mean, shouldn't that be the first thing you think about? <laughs> Maybe for somebody else, but obviously not for me. Oh, I love that birdie. Okay, so shall we do one more page? And maybe in some of the middle ones. I don't think I've done anything on five yet. So yeah, um, Catherine from Catherine Clark um, Brown, uh, she always does this and I think it's a great idea, especially like I have nine signatures. So it's easy to get confused and move them around and then you don't know where they went or where they're supposed to go and you know you've done all the putting it together and making sure you like how it looks and so it's just good to keep it the way you kind of like it the first time I find when I start second guessing myself that's when I kind of change it and then when it's sewn in I'm thinking ugh I should have kept it but I mean that has happened a lot of times to me not just in making journals but scrapbooking decorating or uh, you know sometimes I'll we'll have a garage sale and I se I'll sell something and then 
just the next year I'm thinking oh I should have kept that because it would have gone perfectly in this corner of the house or um, you know how it goes but I don't have room to, or I have probably more room than normal people but or other people but you know you don't have room to keep all these things it just starts cluttering up the house and the garage we cleaned out the garage this year and had a huge garage sale which was which was great but I did sell things that I'm now thinking what was I thinking why didn't I keep it so that is six and page two but can't keep it all I'm wondering how do I want this one to sit something like that maybe and I'll just get rid of this Maybe I'll cut it to get a straight line here. I want to get rid of that as well. Hmm, it's weird there. The scissors. It's not very happy with the napkin, which is weird. Okay, let's see if I have it in like that. Yes, let's do that. Get the map medium over here. You can still see the book page in, in the background, but it's decorated. And there is other book pages where you can, you know, add more paper or glue your photos down. There's lots of things that you can add. Even because I'm not really taking away writing space here. I have a lot of writing space in this book. So I do want to make the writing space if it's not just a plain paper and of course if it's just a plain paper I like my personal journals all start out with only plain paper you know maybe ledger paper or stuff but no decorations on it because I do like this one is just crinkled I'm going to go over with my finger I do like a blank slate and I know other people don't some people like to work in a book that's, you know, a journal that's already decorated. Oh, that one needs a little bit more. And then we'll go over to the next thing. Okay. I'll work on these pages more, but those need to dry. The next thing I want to add is some crackle paste and I already done some on this page just to see if I like it and I do and I do realize the texture paste will add bulk but just a little bit it won't be too much so let's see and I have to say <laughs> excuse my band-aid again I've cut myself again nothing new I told you I'm accident prone but now after I've been working on lots of mediums, my band-aid doesn't look so fresh anymore. It started out fresh, I promise. So what I want to do with this one, um, this page is kind of sitting in the middle. So I'm thinking if I have some paste, texture paste around here, and I'm going to use the same swirl again, I think. I don't know if I should do it on both pages. Maybe. Let's just go for it. So maybe I'll do it this way first. And I want that nice swirl to go this way. <laughs> Does it really matter? I don't think so, but yeah, you know just the way it goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean my stencil again. I will soak it tonight in soapy water and keep my fingers crossed but it looks like this really stains the stencil which is not the end of the world but I do like them nice and clean. side. We can continue on this side <laughs> without making a mess. We 
hope. Now this is a lot of copper, I know. We will tone it down maybe with a pocket or something. Um, that's because I need to do this before I sew the signatures in, so it is kind of hard to decide where to put things, but we'll just, that's part of the surprise in the creating process, I suppose. This one over here. Let's see what we can get out in here. Where did that one end? No, I don't want to press it down on that piece and then ruin that piece. And I don't want it to make a straight line either. Okay, let's do this in here. Well, okay, that came at a price, but again, not the end of the world, but I do need to clean this quickly. This is a messy process. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, wipe, I'm a mess, my table's a mess, everything's a mess. this and the flip side too because a lot of times things bleed through and actually I think that's where most of the mess comes from okay and we need another paper put underneath this and like I say we'll probably add a pocket or something in here on this paper these papers come from the book. We will start on this side. So um, I did want to add some papers from the book. But they will be covered mostly I suppose because it's not an amazing script. Nothing. It is nice paper. I won't Concentrate on not doing those that causes the straight line. <laughs> okay. And maybe I will go in and do a little bit of white somewhere. And then that should be enough. Okay, this one needs to dry. I'm running out of space, so maybe I'll do the rest off camera and just show you once the book is, and once I binded the book, where I did what. Because at the moment I don't have room to put anything down anymore that is wet. And I'm messy, the table is messy, I think we're all coppered out by now. <laughs> So I will do a little bit of um, texture paste in just white maybe, just to break up the copper and to let's do that side. And I'm going to try my very best to get my stencil clean. I do like the stencil, but I don't know if that is possible. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. I am. Um, we did a couple of things. We did some embossing on paper, on just the pages. Like, uh, where did I put? There's one with just embossing. We added some more pages from books today, and we did the texture paste. Oh, and the um, decoupage, napkin decoupage. That is the whole um, story for today. I hope you have a great day. I will um, link um, 
Pixie K Stu uh, designs in my description box if you want to go watch her video. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.